Okay, gotta cut this up. I'm just going to cut it up so it won't take too long to cook. It doesn't have to be in cubes, just whatever way you want to put it or cut it. It's best to have it relatively uh, the same size so it's cooked evenly, but that's pretty much the idea. Just cut it up to about the same so it cuts, uh, it cooks evenly. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving some of the skin on there. I cut off parts that had like spots or anything like that. Um, but the skin is supposed to have some, I think it's minerals. Minerals. So I'm leaving some of the skin on. Okay, so it's mostly cut up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into the pan. I'm going to add water so it's covering the yams. Okay, so I've got it in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and add the water and put it on the stove for a medium uh, heat or whatever it takes to get to boil. Just boil enough and then I'm going to go ahead and cut the other uh, vegetables. Okay, so I've got the head of cabbage here. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the leaves off because once the leaves are ripped or cut, then it reduces the vitamin C content. So I'm going to just go ahead and <clears throat> take off what I'm going to be using for the soup. I'm going to take uh, three or four leaves for this soup. Uh, Okay, so you're going to go ahead and cut this up. And um, cut them up and everything, like all the yams, those are in the pot. Those are going to boil and then you'll want to add your chicken into there. But for now we're just cutting because at least my stove takes a while before it boils. So... That's what this is. Just it, up. it won't take as long as the yams to cook. And the kale is going to take longer, so the kale will actually need to get in the pan next. That or the chicken. So, And then I'll add spices in there, and then it'll be done. So, so I'm going to go ahead and put the cabbage into a bowl so I can cut the kale next. So the good thing, so this is kale, which actually has vitamin K. It has so many vitamins and I believe minerals. So uh, vitamin K is one of those um, vitamins that will, there's three versions of vitamin K, but essentially vitamin K makes people younger, like it's, uh, let's see, younger and um, you know, inside and out and some other things. So it's definitely a very healthy vegetable. It's just like spinach is very healthy, but kale has even more, um, other nutrients in it. So it's good for the skin and, um, cartilage, I think maybe, but anyways, you're just going to go ahead and, um, Let's see, what do I want to do with these? I'm going to go ahead and just pull these, pull this part off of the stem. And the good thing about the cabbage is cabbage uh, belongs in a family with the, uh, I think, it, well, it starts with a C. I'll maybe look it up and then put it on the screen. But it starts with a C and it's a, in the family of broccoli and cauliflower. And it's supposed to be very healthy. That's uh, kale, um, cabbage I'm talking about. So yeah, this part you're just going to go... I'm going to just go throw it away. I guess you could cook it. I'm not sure. I guess so. But I'm not putting that in. I'm just putting in this part. So um, just go ahead and pull the bigger parts. 
apart. And the thing about kale is with some vegetables, if you overcook them, it reduces the nutrients. But with kale, it makes it more available uh, for our body to absorb the nutrients in it. So uh, cooking kale is actually very good. If you're having a salad, uh, you'd want to eat the baby kale because it's, um, it's easier to chew. And also, I believe the nutrients are more available. Um, with this, we're cooking it, uh, boiling it, sort of, or simmer, um, doing a simmer. So it's going to, should be, you know, the nutrients would be available. But if we were doing, if we were doing a salad, we'd want to do the baby kale. That way it wouldn't be as hard to eat and also the nutrients would be easier to absorb. Okay, so as you can see, it is definitely boiling. You can reduce the heat on your stove. Mine was on five, I'm turning it to two. And now with the kale, I'm just, because of the thickness, I'm gonna go ahead and add it at the same time as the cabbage. And then right now I have to get that rotisserie chicken to add that into the um, into the pot so that it will get the chicken flavors and heat up the chicken or whatever. But that's how I do it. Okay, so I have a rotisserie chicken here. I've eaten a lot of it so far. So I only have like pretty much the bottom part. And if you put more of the, just the the light meat and the dark meat instead of the skin then it's healthier that way I think instead of putting a lot of the skin because the skin I think it contributes to cholesterol so that's what I'm gonna try to put okay so now it's been boiling for at least five to ten minutes and I put the chicken in there that's about four ounces I cut off some of the skin, but you know, it's not perfect. It was whatever I had left in the rotisserie, some. So it was about maybe four ounces of chicken. And I've got this here the kale and the cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, some black pepper. And I also have um, some, I'm going to put garlic, the powdered garlic. Just a couple sprinkles and some ginger, just a little bit. I'm not going to put in salt like I usually do because I want to make it more healthy for my heart. And I know the chicken has salt, I'm sure. So um, then I'm going to put the avocado with it, so at the end. Okay, so I've added everything and I've added more water so that it's almost... Um, like it's right around where the level of cabbage is. Um, it'd probably be best to use a large saucepan. This is a medium saucepan, um, but I'm gonna be putting it on more of a low simmer for a while. If you wanted it faster, you'd wanna put it on more of uh, closer to boiling, but because I have it covered and I don't want it boiling over and it's the level it's at, um, and the size of the pan, I'm gonna do a low simmer. So, plus that's healthier for the uh, the vegetables. Okay, so I increased the heat, and I'm gonna go ahead and increase it as much as it needs to get to a low simmer, but not boil over. Okay, so I've put half, well, a little less than half an avocado in my bowl. I'd put about half, but that's what was good in the small avocado I have. And then I have the soup cooking. And then when it's ready, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my bowl and eat it. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead and comment, share, like, whatever. That's what people on YouTube do, right? So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that.